I started uh, doing yoga probably when I was in my early 30s and I uh, have had five different teachers and from all of the teachers that I've had, I have gained uh, many different aspects of my body, not just being a physical body, but also the emotional part of the body and the mental. And I had uh, suffered from depression and um, for many years prior to the um, yoga, I have learned so many techniques, healthful techniques for controlling that monkey mind of going into, uh, to knowing that I can change how I see life, not just the mental and the emotional, but also that I want to age and be strong as I age. How old are you? I, I'm gonna be 75 okay. next month. I think it's important for me to be as strong as I can till the day that I'm not here on Earth. And I don't know what initially attracted me to it. Nobody, I went by myself. I wasn't going with a friend. Um, but just something inside of me called for me to follow this path. And I've been following it for all those years. It's brought so many wonderful gifts to my life. Being able to be gra grateful, be being less judgmental, being kinder. I, I'm, I'm just, I am a different person than I used to be. That, that's really true. And I, I, I really, I, I want to be a, a good example for my daughters too. They can watch me become healthy as I age. I'm hoping that they recognize the importance. All we can do is plant seeds. Exactly. Seed by example. That's all you can do. That is the only thing that is within your control. That's our yoga mind as well. I came to yoga a little bit differently because my closest friend in elementary school, great, her parents owned the health food store and they did yoga together and they did things like that. And I didn't even know that whole world existed. I didn't know that you could live your life through your true self in that way. And that was through, I got to see through like physical discipline and mental discipline and all of the layers of your body, your energy body, your spiritual body, your physical body, like all the different aspects of what makes you who you are. Those things were where I learned as a little kid to find me, truest aspect of me. So that is with self and that is with community. Through that, you can be your best self and you can experience all of what life is, both the hard things and the beautiful, amazing things. And by knowing those aspects of yourself, the hard things aren't so hard. And the beautiful, amazing aspects are so much more sparkly and glittery. There's a lot of people that think about yoga or who think about yoga. You know, they see a lot of pictures or videos of people doing yoga and they feel that it is not within their range of abilities. Can you speak to your physical challenges and how you feel that yoga works to improve that? I was in an accident um, several years ago, six years ago now, and it was a head-on collision and there were broken bones and disc bulges and so much pain. To sit still was super painful and to move was super painful and to breathe was super painful. So when you first came to yoga you were a little tentative about knowing whether you were going to be able to deal with it and you were having migraines. Yeah I had, most... my, had migraines for years and years every single day and I still have them most days off. I can't do the balance poses as well. It gives me a space to have grace within myself and to um, 
I'm really hard on myself. So uh, the grace with myself is a very difficult thing to find. But in that, it allows me to remember that um, movement is hard and mental movement is just as hard. But you're also telling yourself, I can do this, I can do this, I've got this. And then that builds your confidence in being able to do and hear and listen to what it is within yourself because you're taking on your physical limitations and your mental limitations in little bits at a time. And those physical and mental limitations, they're not set in stone, right? No, nothing's ever set in stone. What would you say to people that feel that their age is a limitation? You still have to keep doing it. It isn't static. It isn't like you're going to reach a point and then you can stop. You have to keep on doing the practice. You have to keep on learning what you need to learn in this time of life. There's always things to learn. It's, it's all, it's not just the physical. It's not just those postures. It's, it's uh, learning how to be kind in the world and, and knowing to just hold that kindness is enough in, in life. If you can just be open and kind to everybody, that's gonna change the world. But, but it just takes one to yeah, make another does. one and another one and another one. And yeah. that's, you know, it, it, we all have to do our part. And, and so. I guess part of why I come is because I've met so many wonderful people and we're walking kind of a similar path, we're positive. That is, you know, I, I enjoy, you know, all of the various ones that pop in and, and I've enjoyed, of course, meeting you a lot. And you have almost been neighbors for a long time now and you did Well, she's been here, she said, 10 years. Yeah, and we, but you really connected only here. Only, in, yeah. And, and, and yeah. And we live in a very small town. And, 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 you know, and the fact that I'm my age and you're just mm -hmm. in a whole different you know generation you're my yeah. children's but i'm the age. same age as your daughters you yeah. are the same age as my daughters so mm -hmm. yeah and how has that been for you april it's a gift because sort of more hold to myself and i like and i need to have downtime but i like connection and i like people and I'm coming and getting to know so many different people and in our very small community that share a desire for growth personally, but also positive growth communally too. So even the people that only come in once in a great while are coming in for the same thing as they personally want to grow and they personally want to be their best. <laughs> I'm judging me. Yeah, I, 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 I need to keep working on that one. Everybody has to work on that stuff all the time. We are our so worst we critics, are. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But through yoga, I realize, I recognize it's that awareness. Awareness. You cannot overcome anything without so becoming can, aware uh, of it. Yeah, until you're aware of it. Right. So that's why we practice. Yeah out the door and into our integration of our lives in everything we do. Say it. But I'm just like, for fuck's sake, like, how can you not? Like, I, I don't know the difference between exercising and practice when you do it for your mental health versus when you do it for your physical health. It's not comparable because when you do it for your physical health, comparisons. You're looking for how you fit in your jeans or how you look in your swimsuit. And I mean, I think about those things for sure. Change your mindset to experiencing class, experiencing your fitness, experiencing yoga, and you do it for your mental health. You're doing it for how you align within you. You're doing it for how you navigate and work within your world. And all of that good and all, all of that beauty then 
becomes you, which then relates to your world, which then relates to how you connect to the others in your world, which then eventually does also relate to how you're perceived. And then other people respond to how you are, not you responding to how other people perceive you. And that's the entire difference between choosing to do something for a physical aspect or a good bomb, which I mean, I'm not throwing hate at, I do the same thing. But the difference is, is when you learn to do it in a practice, in a life that is for you, then it changes everything.